manhunt that has taken place all day long has now descended on the Hilton. This is a live look right now. Downtown Indianapolis, 61-year-old Lucius Hamilton, according to the Boone County Sheriff there, had been holed up in a hotel room after police say that he shot his niece, Catherine, and her four-year-old son, Raymond Gill. Their bodies were found at a home in Zionsville along the 6800 block of Old Hunt Club Road just before 9 o'clock this morning. A manhunt has gone on ever since. 61-year-old Lou Hamilton considered armed and dangerous Police there saying that he had holed up in a hotel room downtown Indianapolis at the Hilton there. We continue to follow these breaking news developments. Once again, a live look, a major police presence downtown Indianapolis, as the Boone County Sheriff right there said. State, local, federal authorities had been tracking him. They are all there on the scene. If you are just joining us right now, they say that 61-year-old Lou Hamilton had fired shots through the door of his hotel room. But once again, as the sheriff just mentioned, no one had been hurt there. He had also told RTV6's Todd Connor, who is on the scene, that all family members are there in Boone County. No family members working to negotiate for his peaceful surrender at the Hilton downtown. That hotel had been evacuated as about 15 minutes ago. This is a very fluid situation as we continue to wait for any updates from local police here, IMPD, or any more updates from the Boone County Sheriff as well. For anyone just joining us, this all began just before 9 o'clock this morning. Police have not said what possibly led up to the violence, and police have not confirmed why 61-year-old Lou Hamilton would have shot and killed his niece Catherine and her 4-year-old son Raymond Gill. They have called it a heinous act, one of the most heinous that they have ever seen as we continue to follow these latest developments. And Jason, Erica Fly coming to you from the studio. I just wanted to give this quick update about Wabash College. It had been on a lockdown. That lockdown is now lifted. Again, that's at Wabash. Lou Hamilton uh, works at Wabash as the head of charitable giving there. Again, that campus was on lockdown shortly after this uh, incident unfolded, and it is now uh, that lockdown has been lifted. So we just wanted to bring you um, that latest development all clear at Wabash.